Hello, this is Clint with another episode of Killer Otaku Robots. This is episode 5 of Core Gaming. This episode we're going to be uh, fixing the game Need for Speed 2 Special Edition to get it to run on Windows 10 and uh, other modern operating systems, as well as override the settings to get it to run in 4K. Now, this is a bit of a tricky one because its behavior on NVIDIA and AMD graphics cards are a fair bit different, so I'm going to have to do this in two parts. So for the first part here, I'm going to show you on the AMD side. Uh, this is the bit that's the most compatible, but it doesn't have the best quality graphics. However, it still runs fine. This game is actually pretty easy to get to run on modern systems, especially with the uh, patch that I found here. So the steps are pretty simple. Let's do the first one here. Basically, you go to a hard drive of yours. Um, doesn't have to be your C drive, doesn't really matter where it is. Create a new folder. Need for Speed 2 SE. You can name this whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. Now, you go to the contents of the CD-ROM. Uh, I have it here. You could also take it out of, the, out of the ISO or whatever, but uh, yeah, the game needs to see the CD in order for it to run. Since the installer doesn't run on a modern version of Windows, uh, we're going to have to do this manually. So yeah, it's pretty simple. Just drag and drop everything that's in the CD to that folder that we made. You don't technically need to copy everything over, but uh, it doesn't really hurt anything, and it, it's easier. It's not like these files are any big. Alright, so now all the files are copied over. Uh, all that's left now is to install some programs to get it to run right. Yeah, if you want to run this with advanced 3D acceleration, you're going to need something to interpret the uh, 3DFX API. Now, yes, 3DFX is designed for uh, old video cards that were made in the 90s by the company 3DFX. They use the Glide API, and uh, yeah, it isn't really supported by any modern graphics card or operating system anymore. But that's fine, there's several ways to get it to run. Um, in the patch that I included, there's some files there for DG Voodoo, but those files won't work on an AMD graphics card. Basically, it'll only really work on NVIDIA. Um, so if you're running an NVIDIA graphics card, ignore this step. I'm going to show you what to do on NVIDIA later. But uh, if you're on anything else, then you're going to need to install a program called NGLIDE. That's right here. Pretty easy to get. Let's click on download. Download it. Run it, install, and you're done. That's basically all you need to do. Um, if you want to want to get it to run in 4K, it's pretty simple. Just open it up. There's the configurator there. And you can tell it to uh, set whatever resolution you want. Um, yeah, what I would recommend is instead of setting it by, by app, is set it to by desktop so it'll match the resolution of your desktop. And uh, aspect ratio, NGLIDE doesn't do a very good job of stretching things to 16.9. So I just set it to 4x3. And that bit's done. Now for the next bit, we're going to need to get the patch to get this... Uh, to make this game run, because right now if you click on it, nothing happens. You can click on that all day long, and nothing will happen. So, download the patch. Delta keep it. There's a lot of files in here from a lot of different sources. This patch is pretty easy to run. You just take all these files, collect them all, drag and drop it into the uh, the Need for Speed folder. Now that that's in there, all you have to do is run patch install. Just double click on it. It tells you the things that are changed. Uh, the thing that I added to this patch was uh, the compatibility profiles. That way it'll run on Windows 10. Yes, yes. And there we go. Now that you have NGLAD installed and uh, the patch put in, this game should now run. Now to run this game, there's two different options. There's the option to run it with Direct Draw, which is uh, basically the software rendering that this game uses for games that don't have a 3D accelerated graphics card, and uh, the one for 3D effects, which runs with 3D acceleration, makes the game run a lot better. I'll show you first what this game looked like uh, when you're running it without 3D acceleration. You'll notice that there's a few audio glitches. Um, 
I managed to fix most of them, but it still tends to pop up. It also seems that the faster your computer is, the more these glitches tend to be present. So now that we have the game running, let's change a few options. Yeah, if you're running the uh, software rendered version, these are the settings I'd recommend. Uh, probably just full on that one. You could also change it with the F1, F2, F3, and F4 keys in the middle of the game. And there we go. Let's see how this game runs. So here's the game running in all of its 640 by 480 glory. But in this mode, there are several things that are missing. There's uh, lots of lighting that's missing, weather effects, uh, glossy effects on the car and on the uh, different parts of the road. And yeah, overall, the game just doesn't look very good. Although it does look fairly average for a game of 1997. This is basically just as the game was, like with uh, Need for Speed 2 as opposed to Need for Speed 2 Special Edition. This game also supports full force feedback support and uh, racing wheel support. However, this is for old racing wheels back in the 90s, so compatibility may or may not work. Um, it does seem to like the Xbox 360 controller, which is definitely nice, because that's what I have. So yep, that's how the game runs with the software renderer. Now let's see how it runs with uh, 3DFX. Make sure when you're setting this game up that you, that you change the, uh, the graphic settings so it'll look properly. Car detail has to be on. View distance is set to far. And the horizon is on. With this, the, uh, the game should look pretty good. Otherwise, you're basically missing a couple of things and tends to remind you how old this game really is. All right, yeah, and this is the game running in 4K. And now we notice that a lot more features are there. Uh, dynamic lighting features, reflections on a car, uh, weather effects, and of course the resolution. So now this game runs a hell of a lot better. Also a number of changes that are done to the tracks. However, they're kind of hard to notice. Most of it's just use of better textures. Unfortunately, there is actually one thing that's missing in this mode, and that's the use of the, uh, the in-car mode. So notice how there's no dash anymore. But yeah, looking pretty good for a game from 1997. Now as a final step, I'll show you what to do if you're running this on an NVIDIA graphics card. Now, the steps that I just did using NGLIDE will work on NVIDIA as well. However, if you are running an NVIDIA graphics card, there is a much better way to do this. So it's pretty simple. I already configured this here. Uh, you just take the Glide DLLs that I have here and uh, rename them back to .dll. It'll give you a bit of a warning, but whatever, you can ignore that. Just click yes. I added an extra L to this one. There we go. So now that the, those three files are there, it'll use DG Voodoo to emulate the 3D effects instead of uh, instead of NGLIDE. I'm already using DG Voodoo for the old direct draw, which is how uh, the software rendering works. But yeah, the 3D effects version of DG Voodoo doesn't seem to like AMD cards at the moment. Once that's renamed, you should open up this program here. I included it with the patch, DG Voodoo Setup.exe. And when you open this here, it'll give you a bunch of different options. 
Now to load the folder that you're in, you have to click this button here. And this shows you the settings for the game that we're trying to run. Now, these settings you can just leave as they are, that's not a big deal. Uh, you can also switch it to windowed mode if that's what you prefer. Don't touch the settings in the DirectX, these are kind of picky and uh, if you change them around it makes the game not run very well. So yeah, these are the settings for 3D effects. Um, the resolution here can be set to whatever you want. Um, yeah, if you want to run it in 4K, you just choose 4K and then click apply. Everything else should be good. I set the uh, the rest of the settings up for what this game is expecting. Uh, right, it's ex <coughs> This game was designed to run on a Voodoo 2, so I have this program emulating a Voodoo 2. DG Voodoo is actually a pretty demanding emulator program, so if you notice that it is running slow, um, you might just be better off using NGLIDE instead, even if you are running an NVIDIA graphics card. But it should run pretty well. Once you're done choosing the resolution here, it's pretty simple, just click apply, OK, and then you just uh, go back and run this with 3D effects. As I did this on my computer that's running an AMD graphics card, as you notice, it's just a black screen. And yeah, I can't see anything. Since my video capture computer has an NVIDIA graphics card, I'll show you what it's like when you're running a, a DG Voodoo instead of NGLIDE. As you notice, I'm running this in widescreen, and uh, yeah, a lot of the graphics seem to look a lot better. It scales the textures a little better, it handles a lot of the rain settings better. However, there is one little disadvantage. Um, for whatever reason on this computer, the audio is way worse. Look at that, smooth, smooth graphics fidelity. Yeah, Need for Speed 2 Special Edition was my favorite game when I was a little kid. I used to play this game a lot, uh, even though I didn't have the proper hardware to run it properly. So it's actually kind of nice being able to run this with uh, modern hardware and modern controllers and whatnot. I'm actually surprised how well this game holds up, even after all these years. It's a pretty simple racing game, but uh, yeah, it still has a lot of heart, has a lot of, it has a lot of quirky tracks, and uh, it's probably one of my favorite in the series, even though the newer ones have a lot more features, a lot more cars, and way better graphics. So that's pretty much it for this video. If uh, you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. Uh, leave a comment below if you need any help with anything. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. This is Clint from Killer Otaku Robots, signing out. May the mecha be with you.